purple stuff. So Stephanie, we are about 10,000 feet up. Well, closer to, closer to, I think, over 10,500 feet in the air. Wow. And we saw a chunk of rock. We were driving just to get a view of the area. And uh, we saw a couple of chunks of rock that were kind of whitish. And I asked Stephanie if she thought those were agate, and she said they're agate. So let's take a look at them and see what we found. Well, kind of pretty stuff. So I've been uh, thinking about this. We're in the Lake Claron Formation up on top of Blowhard Mountain. And there's been some igneous activity. That white looks like it might be local metamorphism of the Lake Claron limestones. But that's just a big old chunk of pretty rock. And you can see all sorts of little fragments all over the place here. pieces in there. Some of the more buried pieces. A little color in it. Some of these I think have some dendrites in it. Maybe if I can aim it towards the sun and get a little bit of Not doing a very good job of that. What do you got there? Just caught my eye because it's so blue. It's Doesn't got a little even... bit of that milky stuff to it. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. I won't keep it, but that's cool. I thought this one was kind of pretty too. Oh yeah. But it ended up being less interesting after I picked it up. Did you look at the big rock there? Yeah, I did. That is so cool. Did you see the green inside here? Uh-uh. It's really shiny. It's nice. I'll come take a look at it. Would that be uh, some of that white stuff is like common opal maybe? So I think it's marble. Oh. And I think it's, uh, I, th I always thought it was opal, uh -huh. but I, I, I just, I'm sure I know so little. But I think what happens is that the fluids that are moving through the cavities mm -hmm. in the Claron formation, right, the limestone this erodes easily. This is. Yeah, a big chunk of uh, chalcedony. Oh, and um, agate. And agate, yeah. So the, I think what happens is the, the edge of the cavity with the fluids and the heat gets changed and the limestone becomes marble or something between limestone and marble. Mm -hmm. So. Druzy. I heard all that. Druzy. Druzy. <laughs> you didn't hear a word of it. You saw Druzy. Too bad it doesn't sparkle on camera. That's sure pretty. Another chunk of it over here, isn't there? Oh, this whole side is all druzy covered. Oh, that's Imagine really nice and sparkly. Yeah. How much do you think is below the ground? Do you think that's mostly... Is this just the tip of the iceberg? It looks like so, iceberg. we're going to be... By the way, isn't this beautiful? Oh, it's lovely. We're going to be in a place later where these pieces would be considered small, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's so... Look, this piece right here. Right through here, you can see just a little bit of cedar breaks. Um, just lots of chunks here. Lots of pretty little pieces. Some with dendrites. Look, a little bit of red flame in it. Really? Yeah. I've seen some purple pieces and reddish, yeah. 
That one doesn't look as clear. I guess that could be a... No, nope. yeah, more of a quartzite, maybe. Mm, it's, it's, it's still agate. Or a very stuff. fractured agate, I don't know. Yeah. It sure looks pretty. This is not quartz material. No, that doesn't look as quartzish right now. Boy, there's a, lot a little fractured, though. I wouldn't mind finding a little red piece like that. How about this? Let's see what you Dendrites got. Dendrites and red. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That is pretty. Right up to the sun. Let's see what we can get shining through there. Oh, that's really pretty. You always made me do all the work, or you steal my rocks away from me. No, I don't steal. You steal my <laughs> rocks away. A lot of this is milky. There's some blue in that piece. Some blue looking in that. Oh, wow, that's actually really pretty. What'd you find? No, I just was laughing because I saw the shadows of the birds coming. Oh, I found a little piece of blue here, that's so happy. There's some red stuff here. Here's a purplish. Oh, that's not a bad little chunk. I think it's contact metamorphism. Mm -hmm. um, so, which which I think means if you have a small area where hot fluids are moving through, uh -huh. you'll change the limestone to uh, marble. Cool. There's even a little botryoidal stuff going on and druzy. And I wish you could capture the druzy on film. That's a really pretty Here's pocket of it. Here's one thing right there. Try... Mm -hmm moving side to side a little bit. Sometimes I can pick up a little shine that way. A little sparkle. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, not getting much. Really pretty chunk, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think there are more chunks or do you think those are the well, chunks in the covered area? With it, but it's covered with small pieces, ones. yeah. There's a really nice little piece right there. It's what really everywhere. The, what makes all the holes in the ground? Yeah. Chucks? Oh, that's a glowy little piece. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the orange, the way the light's catching that. Oh, cute. Tannish, brownish. I'm not very good with colors, obviously. A little tiny piece next to it. That's a nice little dendrite. little piece hidden in right there. Let's see what you got. Oh, wow. I know you're Oop. going to tell me to hold it up to the sun, so I'm there just going to do go. it now. Oh, yeah. It's got some really great dendrites in it. And even has a little jersey somewhere. Mm. That seems like it'd be something that would be almost shaped to where you could start uh, making something with it. Oh, yeah, that's an interesting little piece. Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to get that one out. Another piece. Another piece. We're kind of spoiled in Utah with our agate, I think. Yeah, I'm ready to find some bigger agate. So if you enjoyed seeing where to find a little more agate. Oh, you're waiting for me? Yeah. Okay. Um, watch our next video. Okay. <laughs> Look at the dendrites. It's so pretty. That is really pretty, isn't it? If you like this rock like and subscribe. How about that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> One of the great things about this uh, location is that we're not very far from Zion National Park. 
Utah Highway 14 overlooks Zion National Park and you're able to see out over the park, it's to the south, which is that way. Cedar Breaks, if you look over the beast there, you can see little bits of it. It's just a gorgeous place in the world. We recommend highly coming here to see the parks, see the Mighty Five, and maybe even see Cedar Breaks instead of Bryce. I'm not biased. <laughs> so one of the crazy things about some of the rock hounding is we saw the big pieces over there. Sometimes you're in such a hurry to get over to the big chunks, you forget the golden rule of rock hounding. Look right by the door when you get out. There's a beautiful piece right there. There's a beautiful piece right there. They're all over. They're all over. There's another chunk right there that has some blue tinting to it. They're just all over here. Yeah, I think I broke my nail on one of these makers. You broke your nail? Yeah, I was trying to pick it up without my pick. I think that one's worth keeping right there. Oh, that's pretty. Look at the red uh, blob on there.